hello friends welcome back my name is pk in this video you will learn how to create a student assignment tracker in google sheets as you are seeing my screen i have created this beautiful student assignment tracker wherein we are capturing the due date of the assignment then number of days left from today and then the assignment name you can just put here the proper assignment name we have taken some dummy data then the course you can put the proper course name we have put here some subjects and then the status is a formula field so it will come automatically then type of the assignment like it was the online assignment or a feed of the assignment you can input some notes also which is a free text on the top we are showing some summary information today's date then the summary how many assignment is there total total and then the, how many completed how many pending then here we are showing the count by the status how many overdue how many completed and how many are pending then the this is by course basically the subjects but you can change it as you want then this is by the grade so maximum is coming in grade b this is the count, assignment count by type how many online and how many offline all right now we will explain you how you can create this in google sheets step by step so please watch this video till the end i'm going to add a new sheet here just click on this add button and we will create from the scratch so first let's copy the header from here so we are taking these headers till here just copy and come here and from the row number 14 we will just paste that okay so the first column we are keeping blank like here we have kept just to keep some space so let's reduce the column width here and this will be a serial number so we will reduce the column width again and here we will insert the checkbox so reduce this one also all right and for the notes we will make it bigger and for the name of the assignment also you can make it bigger just go to the view so and uncheck the grid lines let's select this data to format some range and then go to the border and uh, in this light color and click on all borders okay now here we will use the serial number and here we will use the in let's select some checkbox or what i'm going to do i'm putting here the assignment name first so let's say i'm putting here assignment one like this but you can put here uh, your actual name and just drag this let's say till here and now we will input some due date okay so i'm going to copy this date from here and just paste as value shift control b and drag this one again till here okay now here we will select and insert the checkbox so just go to the insert and insert the checkbox this one and reduce the font size slightly and the font color let's take this color okay now here we can use the sequence function use here sequence and the number of rows we can use the count a and select this cell c15 colon and just put here c automatically it will take the whole range and just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here a serial number now quickly we will format the font size and the font name also let's say till here align them center and middle vertically reduce the font size slightly okay now for the header we can change the font name so we can take here arial rounded this one already we have taken and increase the font size slightly okay now this should be a calendar if i double click it should show some calendar so let's select this range just right click and go to the drop down and here in the criteria just select is valid date and make sure it should reject the input if it is not a date so just check this and click on done 
now if i double click this calendar will appear if i'll try to type something else then it will not allow okay so we have to enter here date only all right we can put that date here on the top like we have given here this today's date okay so first let me come to the this sheet and we can create one header here select these two range and use merge cell and you can put some dark color here this one and font take here white and size take around 18 or 24 and then the font you can take this area rounded and put here student assignment tracker and align this center all right now we can put here like here if you see we have given the assignment so we can do that and then we can show the today's date so let's select this range and use merge and we can show here or assignment and fill here this color and the white font and align this center increase the row height align this middle make this bold and area rounded slightly bigger okay and then we can select this range and use merge cells and we can show here date or today's date whatever you want okay and in the date it's up to you you want to show here the today's date like here we have used the today function or you want to show some other date so what i'm going to do here i'm just taking this color and font white bold and just merge this and we are going to fill some lighter color like this and here we can show the summary so we can just copy and paste that here select this and we'll use this merge horizontally okay so this is merge use the same formatting here and here also all right so this is today's date so we will use here today but you can enter some other dates also if you want use today function and just hit the enter align this center and then here we can show the total or overall like we have displayed here total assignment and then completed then pending okay so we have merged all the cells let's unmerge them first and merge these only so select this range and merge across like merge horizontally this is total then completed and then pending align this center and here we will show the count so the total count will be count a and we can select the number of assignment from here okay so f15 till f okay automatically it will take whole range and just hit the enter now for completed we can use the completed if it is checked this one and this is checked then we will consider that as completed so we can use here count if function count if and range we can select this cell colon c comma criteria we will select here true so this is two now the pending will be the total minus completed that is pending all right now we can put the formula here for the days left that will be we can use the array formula like here we have used this array formula and if this column is blank then we can simply uh, keep it blank otherwise we can use the date minus today okay I'm, I'm going to use here array formula like here and then i'll use if is blank function also is blank this one and use d colon d then just use blank else we will use this date and use d also so that we can take the whole range minus this date okay whatever date we are taking here so you can take here today's date or some other date whatever you want and just close the bracket hit the enter 
automatically it will fill the value if you enter new then it will automatically take that okay because we have used the array formula we have used the array formula here now the negative days means we have this date is gone and the positive days means we have some other time okay so let's put here the course also like here we have put the course few subjects so we can just copy that one also or if you want to add a drop down you can add the drop down so i'm just going to copy as value only so i'm just going to copy as value and i just paste as a value not the drop down i'll show you how you can create the drop down just select the range and then right click and go to the drop down and you can see the drop down here you can give some colors for the different subject okay and here also all right now the status we will put here formula and that formula will be if we can take this and again we will use the array formula so we don't need to fill down that so first use the array formula and then use if this cell comma colon c is equal to true then we will use here complete it will use another logic if this cell and again use here e so that it will take whole range is less than 0 that means it is overdue else it is pending just close the bracket hit the enter okay so automatically it is filled till the end we can see so what we can do we can put another condition like if it is blank then it should not take that so let me put that here in the starting if let's take this date column colon d is equal to blank then blank else this okay just close one more bracket and hit the enter so we can see it is coming till here only all right now for the type we can just give one drop down that is online or offline so we can select and right click and add the drop down and we can input online and offline or we have some data here so let's copy for now this one and similarly for the grade also we can add a b c so i'm just going to these two columns for now copy and i will paste as a value shift control and v okay so first for this one we will create the drop down till here right click and then go to the drop down and for offline let's say i'm giving this color and for online i'm giving this color and done so we have the online and offline similarly for the grade also just select right click and add drop down this is a b c for a i'm keeping this green and for b i'm keeping this yellow and c i'm keeping this one all right done okay now we have entered whole data and if you want to enter new data you just need to fill down this control d double click here and select some date input the assignment name whatever you want so let's say i'm saying this one and select the subject and then online offline and if it is turn checked okay then just select the grade also so you can enter the data like this and now i will show you how you can create the charts for status scores grade and the type online or offline so let's create for first status so I'm just going to insert one chart just insert chart okay now here we will change the range first so select the new range and from here we will select the range of status we have the status column on H so just click here and select whole range till the end click on OK and just check this use 
row 15 as header because row 15 is a header click on this aggregate also so that it will aggregate that and then reduce the size and just keep this here now we will quickly format this so just go to the customize and chart style make it 3d and then we will change the spice lice color also so for overdue let's say i'm taking this color and then for completed let's say i'm taking lighter color and we can make some pending also uh, so let's add some date of the october so i'm putting this and put some other all right so we can see some pending also on the chart now double click on the chart customize and we'll change the pending color also and for pending i'm taking let's say this color okay now in the pie chart we will add the values and then go to the legend and put the legend at bottom and then we will add the chart title also so this is count by status okay align this center and take this darker color and reduce the font size around 12 or you can take 14 also and make it more darker and bold okay so this chart is ready now we can quickly copy this chart we can paste that here and make it slightly smaller also like this and the second chart we have created by course so just double click change the chart type from here and we have taken this bar chart and uh, in the bar chart we have changed we have to change the range uh, we are taking by course which is column g this one right so just double click and take the column g in the setup take g and here take g and just hit the enter now go to the customize and take the 3d chart here also if you want to change the color from the series you can change the color like you can take this color lighter and then we can quickly copy and add more chart and you can show the data labels also just to show the data labels you can just click here to show the data label similarly we can create the other chart like here we have created this column chart to show by the grade so just double click and first change the reference the grade is on column j so just put here j and put here j and just hit the enter and change the this chart to the column chart and you can make it smaller also and just double click and uh, then and just click and just double click on the chart and uh, you can show the data labels from here then just make a duplicate of this chart copy and paste just copy this chart and you can paste that here then just keep this here and uh, this time we will show by type so just double click and uh, set up and change the type is on column i so let's take here column i this one also and enter okay so this is by type you can see and then we can remove the legion from here not required and this one also okay if you want to make this chart 3d you can just go to the customize and you can just make it 3d and change the title this is count by type and this is count by grade and this is count by course okay we don't need this legend so we can just uh, show the legend as none all right so this is done and friends that is how you can create this student assignment tracker in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching